Hello, welcome to IF, videos on all things political and historical, mysterious and sometimes controversial. If you want to stay up to date, remember to subscribe and join us in the comments to discuss the what if. I'd like to give a shout out and my thanks to Reddit user Your Opinion for suggesting this video's topic. Facebook The social media giant is known in every corner of the globe, a place for people to share their photos, funny memes and sometimes darker content. We have seen the media mammoth slowly roll out ever increasing censorship and in most cases this has been justified. No one wants to see ISIS recruitment videos when searching for family members or long lost friends. But Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of the company, has begun to move into the realms of politics and with his media influence this could be world changing. He recently wrote a 6000 word manifesto laying out his ideas and plans for the community. In this comment he uses the phrase social infrastructure 15 times so this is obviously an important point for him. He writes, in times like these the most important thing we at Facebook can do is develop the social infrastructure to give people the power to build a global community that works for all of us. So what if there is an agenda? No big deal right, it's only social media. Well it's a huge deal and it could have real world repercussions. The platform is a major communications network enabling people to easily contact almost anyone anywhere around the globe and although for the most part this is a great way to share wedding photos and send birthday messages, for some it is a place to garner support and organize their social or political movement. And this is where the manipulation begins. Facebook can decide and has decided in the past what posts they push and which they bury. The fake news movement being a good example of this covert censorship, they are steering the online narrative. Ars Techchina reported, one example of a meaningful group is a page that helps connect refugees with people who are willing to provide them with housing. Another example is a parenting community that connects parents with each other in their local communities. Essentially what distinguishes a meaningful group is that it is embedded in our offline lives. They are in other words connected to local geographical areas. These groups organizing through the platform may seem beneficial to a community and what it is on a small local scale it can be. The problem arrives when Zuckerberg's monster starts to influence actual political campaigns. Zuckerberg has boasted that this platform can make and break politicians, those with the largest following often winning their campaign and going on to seats of power. If this really is the case this makes Facebook the man behind the curtain, the puller of strings and the maker of political careers. Ok so I hear you saying this is what people want, the social platform just providing a place for them to show and share support. This would be true if there was no motive behind the CEO's plan but he is not a benevolent leader. He views the future as global and Facebook as the platform that can form the backbone of a network of people to defeat those that have a more nationalistic viewpoint. Zuckerberg saying that he's thinking of creating a worldwide voting system. The danger here is exposure, both viewpoints have positive and negatives and the political systems around the world have been designed to give their citizens an even vote and say on which way they move forward as a country. Admittedly some governments are better at this than others but do we want to hand this power over to a single private corporate entity like Facebook? Another issue is that Zuckerberg may have an agenda but he will not wield control, that is planned to be handed over to machine AI. He comments that he is not adverse to machines handling the decisions on fake news and abuse but thinks the singularity would have to occur first. So what do I take away from his ideas and comments? He is an admitted globalist and his willingness to hand his power over to an AI is worrying. He is just another voice in an increasing movement of people who feel that we need to become a global community with a one world government overseeing everything. This plan has been talked about for hundreds of years and you can take your pick of conspiracy channels, they will all have something to say on this topic. 
The scary thing is that we are now at the point where it could happen. A worldwide network like Facebook, manipulated by people and eventually AI, could easily maneuver the billions of users into thinking in a way that they want. Any persons wishing to combat this movement being silenced in the digital realm. If Facebook moves forward and implements AI control, who's to know if the AI created out of the singularity will even want to follow its master's agenda? Pick your story Frankenstein's monster, Terminator and Skynet. We have all seen these warnings of the created turning on the creator. A little paranoia could be a good thing. Or maybe people will just log out and never return. After all the power of the media giant comes from its users. Push those users too far and they may leave your platform, leaving your network powerless. What do you think will happen if Facebook implements AI control? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button and if you enjoyed the content please remember to subscribe, your support is appreciated. Until next time.